I didn't change a single variable name. I literally changed nothing. Gudasol here with Machine Minds. My name is Enzo. I'm from Cali, Colombia. Champions League Salsa. <laughs> Champion Salsa Dancer Edison here. And today we're going to look at the differences or the improvements that ChatGPT4 has compared to ChatGPT3 when it comes to giving exact instructions for how to be your assistant. Um, we're looking at programming. We're gonna build something very, very simple in both 4 and 3.5 using the exact same instructions. Um, we already did it, so let's see how it went. So we're using this template, which is a part of our premium uh, prompt engineering resource, which I'll introduce at the end of the lesson. Uh, but what you need to know is this is the basic instructions that we're giving. So we want JavaScript, HTML, CSS, a platform jumper game and you're gonna see how that comes in later on because we were not specific about this and chat gpt4 took it quite literally so um we told it we just want arrow key inputs um plain js in one file um, and the reason that we're doing this is because we're testing out in code pen so we'll see how that went very very soon Part of this personality that we have is it becomes your assistant and it also asks for your approval at each stage. So whenever we're using ChatGPT4, we see that we first get a project overview, which we then approve by saying yes. Um, then we get a pseudocode overview, which we also approved. Then we got information about the index file um, in one, uh, just one code snippet and then just another code snippet, which if you look at the actual instructions, this is what I'm asking for. And I'm not gonna show all of the setup because it is part of our premium resource, but what we're basically saying is, hey, I want you to just give me code as best as you can, and then ask for my approval, and if I say yes, move on to the next component. So those are the instructions that we gave both GPT-4 and 3.5, and we're gonna see how 3.5 did with those, and it is nothing like you're seeing now. After we got the initial HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, we went through and did, uh, it basically gave us every single component, and it actually did a very good job of following the instructions. Um, one of the instructions were, if something changes, I want you to tell me right away. And it did that for each and every component. And we were able to put it in just as it is. I literally changed nothing. Uh, all I did was copy and paste it exactly where it says. I didn't change a single variable name. Um, I didn't have to replace anything. And this is what we got. So check it out. We got a, a uh, oh, it's not picking me up. There we go. We got a literal platform jumper game. So it didn't like understand the concept and I didn't like double check what these type of games are called. I just remembered it was something like that, but it gave us this game that's literally a platform and you can jump off of it, um, but it works, <laughs> you know? So uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually really stoked that just right off of, of doing absolutely zero changes, we got a platform jumper game that we can run. So now let's look at what 3.5 did for us. And uh, I ran the same instructions about, you know, give us the, the overview first, we're gonna approve it, all the changes. And at first, it's looking good. We're getting this project overview. Um, it's actually giving us a lot of stuff we don't really need. You know, we, we really need this, we need the game logic. And you can see how the pseudocode is like, this isn't even pseudocode in 3.5. And then it just jumps into the code snippets uh, like this one is split between two different responses and then it just starts giving me everything um, not in separate messages like I asked and it's not even really asking me um, it's not asking me to approve each individual part right um, but it did still understand the why as yes to keep getting the code so once I had this set up like once I sent the initial message, all I hit was why, 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 and it made this whole thing for me. It didn't even run because it doesn't have all the assets. So it's linking things like, let's see if we can find it. like jump.mp3, gameover.mp3, and, and these things just don't exist. 
So um, I could take the time to replace all these and see if it works. But honestly, I'm not that excited to continue coding with GPT-3. Although I am kind of impressed at the performance of the, the personality. Um, this is the Kogo personality and he is a part of our prompt engineering for programmers god mode which we talk a lot about he's the code god um, so so he's pretty exciting and if you want to learn about him you're gonna have to pick up our prompt engineering for programmers bundle 120 dollars it's a lot of money but it's worth it and the price is going up um, i am a programmer i love programming and i'm going to keep making these things better and better and you can already see how incredible GPT-4 is and the next thing that we're going to have coming at you is going to be so much more powerful than this this silly little game um, but in the comments I want to know what you guys are building uh, feel free to link to your projects I will approve your comments in YouTube and don't forget to follow us on Substack and Twitter that's all we got thanks for being here Addison we appreciate it